Hi everyone, this video is going to talk about an awesome new resource called Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a way to be able to do video-based discussions in your classrooms by sending out to your students as well as your students responding video-based. Um, you could do this in many different ways. and it's, it's about being creative with how you're going to implement in the classroom, but top of my head, you could just do video-based discussions, you could do speeches, you could just do ongoing communication, you could do formative assessments, demonstrations, you name it. I mean, in all essence, it really just opens up opportunities for our students to be able to communicate within the classroom in, uh, in, in a different methodology. So what I'm going to do is when I go to teacher admin, that's when you already signed up and you already created your grid. Uh, right now, I already have a grid called technology. I'm just going to just really quickly show you what happens when you create grids. Uh, it gives you automatically a name. You can have a grid purpose. You don't necessarily need it. There's a security and privacy area talking about what you can cannot do, how you get notified. So if you want to be notified via email, you can, but you do not need to have it on. And there's also all these different uh, cool backgrounds you could use. That's that's kind of good. So I'm just going to update grid. All right, now my grid is my grid. However, I need a topic. My topic makes sense of how I'm going to communicate with my students. So that's why I press the new topic button. Okay, so now our topic. This is what you have. You have a topic of what you're talking about. And then you have your question. So you're writing down what you want your students to reply to. Here you could actually determine how long you want them to be able to reply. Now we're using the free version so you get either a really short 15 or a minute 30 or up to a minute 30. In the paid version, if we ever move that towards that, that route, uh, you will have a lot more opportunities there, but a minute 30 is actually pretty pretty good. Pretty good start there. Uh, when does it start? Is it visible? So um, there's different ways of being able to send it out and change. Visible is everybody will see it. Frozen, you can see that students can view responsibility, cannot record, or just hidden altogether, like you're working towards. There's also other resources you can implement. I can record a video, which is great. I could actually might as well display, um, record myself Tell, you know, asking the question, the kids can reply, or I could just, if I want to not and have kids reply, I could always just write down uh, my question and the kids, students can reply. There's also additional resources that you could add to your Flipgrid. Uh, just a few more things to share before I kind of um, model it. Uh, here you could add selfie decorations. That's fun. Kids like that stuff. Uh, response uh, moderation, I think is a smart play to have because it will say that you can moderate uh, proving the responses that are happening before they happen. It's a good uh, classroom management tool there. Uh, response styles are great. Video views displays how many people are viewing it. Probably a smart idea so you could tell who's actually uh, participating. Uh, require an email for responses. That is not necessary, but you can do that if you want. Uh, replies to responses. This is only available for classroom. So if we go this route, replies to responses, a lot of students reply to a response. Right now it's turned off, so kids cannot reply to each other, which is fine. Okay, so at this point, I just hit create my topic. All right, got it. Now, how do I get this information to my students? This is, this is actually pretty nice. I could... Uh, share my topic. So here, all I need to do is either put this code on the board so the kids can write in, go to Flipgrid and do that, or why not just hit that Google Classroom button and go to your Google Classroom, select your class, choose your action, either ask a question, make an announcement, or create an assignment so they could tell that they have actually turned it in. Hit go. And let's just make this a little bit bigger. All right, so if I'm using it as a Google Classroom, I'll make an assignment. So uh, please, so this is an assignment, so we'll call this communication. Nope, oh, probably should type in so creative communication. All right, I'm not going to give any instructions, but you may want to say, please click on this, do it, and tell it, and please mark that you turn it in. But right now, for this purpose, I'm just going to put a title here. Um, might as well call it one of my discussions. I'm not going to give it a due date, but in a classroom that does happen. All right, I'm gonna assign it. At this point now, if I wanna view my post in Google Classroom, it will exist and I can make any changes. So now I have three students, my demonstration students are waiting. At this point, what I'm gonna ask is for those people to be able to respond and they'll, it'll say that they have responded. And then we could actually look at some of their grids and what they responded with. 